in 2007, without any of us knowing, an intelligent, gaseous, extraterrestrial being, imperceptible to human senses, visited Earth and observed man and beast and mollusk and bird through the condensation of his spaceship window. He discovered the many leakings, flowings, lacerations and excretions that our bodies perform and decided that there was something gravely wrong about it. This intelligent, gaseous, extraterrestrial being had never known the touch of another, for if you were to make contact with a member of his species, their particles, being loose and in constant motion, would mingle and transform the two beings into one. And he wasn't quite ready for that sort of commitment just yet. For the most part, his species kept a safe distance of at least two metres between one another. The only risk that this intelligent, gaseous, extraterrestrial being would encounter with regards to interpersonal contact was an unhappy or unintended marriage. But what he saw in human contact was another thing entirely. It was a cliff edge of viral, bacterial and mortal doom. The enamel around the dentin, around the pulp, in the mouth of a human might be weaponized to break the skin of another and draw blood. Through the mere exchange of saliva, one might wake up one day plagued by sores and pustules around one's lips. By opening one's mouth and talking, as humans like to do, and then coughing, as humans can't help but do, Droplets carrying microbes carrying a bad attitude which makes them attack the cells that line the respiratory tract may be transmitted. But despite this Russian roulette of awful consequences, humans continued to kiss each other on the cheek and spit on their palms before shaking hands and sometimes rub their noses together if they were feeling particularly affectionate. And this intelligent, gaseous, extraterrestrial being although disgusted, found it somehow moving. Thirteen years later, the intelligent, gaseous, extraterrestrial being returned to Earth at just the wrong time. If he had a stomach, it would be in knots. If he had a heart, it would have sunk. Viral pandemic had struck the planet. The thing which made humans so primal and beautiful. The thing which spoke when words failed. The thing which could prove one's existence in the world was being questioned.
There they are, the intelligent, gaseous, extraterrestrial being thought, suspended in a state of half-embrace.